Hello there year 10. So this is Miss Monk here and today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how you can start your Mark Powell artist copy. Okay, so the first thing you need to think about is the surface that you're going to be completing this copy onto. Don't just do it on a white piece of paper. Okay, I want you to experiment with the surfaces that we are drawing on. So if you look at Mark Powell's work, he uses things such as envelopes, book pages, music note pages. Okay, so I want you to think along a similar line of that, all right? And you can see here, I have sketched out his uh, one of his pieces of work onto an envelope and I've folded it out like this, okay? You don't just have to use an envelope, you could um, use, again, a music note page. And you see here how I've coffee stained that to make it look more interesting. You can use a coffee stain piece of paper if you don't have any other materials. Um, and here you can see here I've stained on top of a map, okay? You don't even need to coffee stain it if you don't want. You can just work directly onto the envelope or the, uh, the music note page or book page. That's absolutely fine to do as well. Just make sure you've got an interesting surface to work upon. Once you've got your surface and it's nice and dry, if you've decided to coffee stain it or tea stain it, what you then need to do is sketch out, using a really sharp pencil, the basic outline of the Mark Powell piece of work that you've chosen to um, do a copy of, okay? Um, you need to try and get it as accurate as you can. If you are struggling with doing the entire image, okay, remember you don't have to do a portrait, you could do one of these birds. Um, but if you're struggling to do the entire thing, maybe just decide to do a section, enlarge in a section and draw that onto your surface instead. That's fine to do. But if you are aiming for the higher grades, I would definitely advise you to try and do the entire thing to really challenge your skills. Even if you only get it half finished, you know, it's, um, it's really important to be ambitious with your work. Once you've sketched out the outline and you're happy with it, notice how I've sort of sketched out key lines as well. Okay, I've not done all the tiny fine lines, but these dark creases within his skin, I have actually transferred it onto, um, onto my surface alongside the key features. Okay, the more, the more detail you can get across with your pencil, the better, because that will give you more confidence when it comes to applying your biro. Once you've got your outline, Make sure you've got a nice biro in front of you. I spoke to you um, a few weeks ago about biros and how they've got this nib. You shouldn't use a fine liner for this task, okay? And then what you can do is start, uh, pick a section, okay? Choose a section of his work to focus on. For today's demonstration, I'm going to focus on his eye because, you know, we all like eyes, don't we? All right, so remember, you need to apply layers. So I'm going to start off with a light layer, okay? So I'm applying gentle pressure with my pen, okay? I'm not pressing hard because I can do that later on. And I'm following the shape of the area that I'm drawing, applying a really light pressure. So you see here for the pupil, I am going in circular motions to sort of follow the shape of the iris, okay? This is my first layer, remember, I am gonna continue working into it with further lines in a moment, all right? Once I've added a base, a bit of a base layer, then I might start working into it with other lines going in a different direction. So this is something called cross hatching, okay? And again, you can see how gentle I am being with my pen. I am not going in straight away, pressing hard, because once you press hard and you cover a surface with that, then you're not gonna be able to work into it. Okay, it's done. So start off light and work into it. I'm going to start applying this pupil. And I am going to press down hard with the pupil, purely because that is black. Okay, so I'm working into that pupil. I'm leaving the white areas blank. I'm not working into those, okay? And then I might start working into the white of the eye again, using really light pen strokes okay and then that's when I might start working into it a little bit darker try and blending out my pen marks if I can I might even look a bit closer I can see some little um some little dots on his eye too so I might decide to experiment with my mark making here see what sort of effects I get with that okay and then I'm going to work onto this wrinkle underneath his eye wrinkles are fantastic again you're just drawing lines. Look at this line here, for instance. Look how it goes lighter 
there how there's not even really a line on that area so i'll make sure that when i'm drawing that in i'm going to miss that out and then again i'm working into that skin tone i'm following the direction of the skin flaps okay and i'm blending that line out so it's a bit like a pencil okay so you want to work into your drawing with layers you can see that it's going to take a really long time um so get on your music you know get comfortable and really really observe his work it might be good to have his work on a computer screen or a phone because that means you can then zoom into a particular area as you are working okay once you're done make sure you upload a picture of this alongside your artist research page to firefly we look forward to seeing the results